floors are 38 or 39 feet below the surface of the ground, and there's usually about 6 to 10 feet of soil over the top of the tank so that people are able, and it produces sufficient shielding that people are able to walk uh, there and get only an, an acceptable dose, they say. Uh, here's uh, an apparatus that they use to cut a hole, a 57-inch hole in the top of the tank. What the tanks had before they did this is uh, pipes going down into the, to the bottom of the tank, but they were relatively small, and you couldn't get apparatus down there to empty the tank through those uh, small pipes. So they could get the pump of liquid out, but they couldn't get the solids out. So they cut this, used this device to cut a big hole in the top of the tank so that they could lower in a device to sluice out the solids from the tank. Just to show you how they run into all kinds of problems, the grinding material that they used was garnet. And then they discovered that if you pipe garnet, uh, it tends to wear away the inside of the pipe because it's abrasive. Mm -hmm. So they had to then calculate, can we use this stuff? And they had to change to a different uh, grinding compound in order that they wouldn't corrode or erode, rather, their pipes when they end up uh, pumping this material elsewhere. Okay, so now I just want to talk a little bit about what I think is the most dangerous facility on the site. It's called the Waste Encapsulation Storage Facility, and people refer to it as WESF. Um, radioactive cesium and strontium-90 were shipped from all over the country to this WESF facility. And currently, the uh, material is stored in capsules that are underwater, the way fuel is stored at nuclear power plants. The radioactivity is 131 million curies. I mean, it's, it's just staggering the amount of radioactivity. And it's, uh, the total mass is about 15 metric tons the capsules and their contents. Um, so 115 metric tons and one gram of cesium-137 has the equivalent of about 86 curies. When ages ago, when I was doing some radiation therapy, the device that we used to treat cancer of the cervix in women who had it had about 200 milligrams of radium in it. Radium, one gram of radium, has, uh, and its daughter products, emits one curie. So 86 curies per gram, and there are, um, what did I say, 115 tons? These are metric tons. So, uh, how many grams is that? <laughs> oh, no, a metric, too many. Uh, a metric ton is a thousand kilograms. A kilogram is a thousand uh, grams. So that adds up to be what? Quite a bit. <laughs> Just about done. Uh, this is what the uh, DOE shows us regularly. And what they do is they list a whole bunch of things that they have accomplished, which they like to talk about, and then they actually talk about things that they have yet to do. So take a look at this D and H area. And they've checked off a whole bunch of stuff that, they removed, that they've taken care of, including, oh, I said 1,000, uh, I said 1,700,000 metric, uh, uh, cubic meters, but it's 1,700 tons of soil that was removed. But the additional scope is that more extensive chromium contamination 
is discovered every time they turn around. So, you know, they've, they've got problems in almost every area that they have yet to address. And this is what it's going to cost at current estimates. $114 billion uh, spread over whatever length of time. And every, every year, every time they turn around, the number goes up. So that's a kind of a quick snapshot, not as quick as it was supposed to be. <laughs> but very thorough and, and, and uh, I think really helpful for, for everyone to have. Um, and Um, let's see, uh, the next speaker will be uh, Pat Hoover, uh, who's a longtime PSR member and uh, downwinder.